Teotihuacan and mica. What is mica, a powerful radioactive insulator, doing in monuments dating back thousands of years? Discovery of a powerful radioactive insulator within a, an ancient pyramid is one of the world's greatest mysteries. Teotihuacan is without a doubt one of the most mysterious places in the Americas. And while the incredible complexity and architectural precision are some of the details that have baffled archaeologists for decades, the presence of mica, a powerful radioactive insulator, is perhaps one of the biggest enigmas of this great ancient city. It was established around 100 BC and lasting until its fall between the 7th and 8th centuries, Teotihuacan was one of the largest cities in the ancient world with over 150,000 residents at its peak. Teotihuacan is amazing. It's both credibly, incredibly futuristic and ancient at the same time. According to archaeologists, the advanced design of Teotihuacan suggests that ancient builders had knowledge not only of architecture, but of complex mathematical and astronomical sciences. And one of the things that are just incredibly amazing and different from all other ancient sites is the fact that from the air, Teotihuacan city layout strangely resembles a computer circuit, a circuit board with two large processor chips, the Sun Pyramid and the Moon Pyramid. Researchers have also found numerous and remarkable similarities to the Great Pyramids of Egypt. But just 100 years ago, there were no pyramids in Teotihuacan. The staggering four kilometers of the Avenue of the Dead and its well-known pyramids of the sun and the moon remain hidden from sight. Instead of the pyramids, strange gentle slopes rose from the ground, equidistant from each other, which led to the assumption that these mysterious hilltops could have been artificial structures. They'd been there for centuries, covered with vegetation and soil, forgotten like many other ancient sites. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. Curiously, when Hernan Cortes and his men conquered the Aztec Empire in the 16th century, they asked the natives who built such colossal cities to what the Aztecs replied, we were not the builders of Teotihuacan. This city was built by the Quinanitzin, a race of giants who came from the heavens in the time of the second sun. So in other words, they were talking about extraterrestrials, giants. So the Aztecs were the ancient civilization that named the city Teotihuacan, but they did not know the original name of the city. Teotihuacan can be translated to city where men become gods. The Aztecs named the pyramid of Teotihuacan Tonatiu and Metal Tzacuati, the home of the sun and the moon. The Aztec Empire told the Spanish that the pyramid of the sun was covered with black basalt in the distant past, but when they arrived at the city, it was completely abandoned. In 1906, a worker digging at the site made one of the most important and mysterious discoveries that would forever change how we look at Teotihuacan. On the fifth deck of the Pyramid of the Sun, a worker discovered a thick layer of lamb. And at that time, in 1906, mica was invaluable in the market. It was used for the construction of capacitors and was considered an incredibly well-appreciated electrical and thermal insulator which had a melting point over 1,100 degrees Celsius. For some obscure reason, the architects of Teotihuacan placed it there in the 2nd century BC at the time of the greatest expansion of their civilization. But the question is, why was mica used there? Most of the mica found in 1906 at Teotihuacan was sold at a great price in the market, but not all of the mica disappeared from Teotihuacan. Today, there are still a few places where you can find mica in Teotihuacan, and for some mysterious reason, the unknown builders of this great ancient city managed to extract and transport mica 
and incorporate it into the buildings of Teotihuacan, what no one is able to answer is why. What was mica used for thousands of years ago? Was it part of some lost ancient technology? If so, what type of technology was it? And is it possible that the builders of the ancient city were in fact quote-unquote gods, as some legends suggest? Now, this is not the only place where we find that uh, the ancients were talking about gods, giants that came from the heavens. We also have this happening in Egypt. Ne the uh, pharaoh Net 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 Netanebo, Netanebo, who um, destroyed various temples in Egypt, did not destroy the temple of Abydos, where we have those uh, hieroglyphics of uh, various modern-day uh, flying vessels, that, flying uh, craft that we have today, helicopters, rockets, jet airplanes, uh, even uh, hyd uh, hydrofoils. So, uh, what were they doing there? Nectanebo said, the temple of Seti in Abydos is where the overlords of Egypt landed from the skies. So he was also referring to extraterrestrials. The ancient Greeks referred to extraterrestrials when they were talking about the Olympian gods. Now, here, going back to this, mica. Mica is, a, is stable when exposed to electricity, light, moisture, and extreme temperatures. It has superior electrical properties as an insulator and as a dielectric and can support an electrostatic field while dissipating minimal energy in the form of heat. It can be split very thin, 0 0.025 to 0 0.125 millimeters or thinner, while maintaining its electrical properties. It has a high dielectric breakdown, is thermally stable at 500 degrees Celsius, and is resistant to corona discharge. Muscovite, the principal mica used by the electrical industry, is used in capacitors that are ideal for high frequency and radio frequency. Flogopite mica remains stable at higher temperatures up to 900 degrees Celsius and it's used in applications in which a combination of high heat stability and electrical properties is required. Moscovite and flogopite are used in sheets and ground forms. Now according to tests carried out by the Viking Foundation, discoverer of one of the rooms with mica is this valuable material had an unmistakable identity card, quote unquote, saying from where it had been extracted. Being made up of specific trace elements, researchers learned that the mica used in the construction of Teotihuacan had left a rocky region located more than 3,002 kilometers away from Teotihuacan. More precisely, it came from Brazil. This itself is a true enigma. How did the builders of Teotihuacan extract nearly 30 square meters of mica in Brazil, transport it nearly intact to Mexico without roads or advanced means of transportation thousands of years ago? So this is on uh, Bended Reality, and uh, the source is uh, Mirror Spectrum. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support.